Hello, Red Flash fans. My name is Jessica O'Donnell. I'm the head softball coach at St. Francis, and we are 16 days away from our first game down at USC Upstate. And today I have with me one of my assistant coaches, Anna Marie Gaddy. How you doing today, Anna? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. And uh, to celebrate 16 days until our first game, I'm going to ask Anna a series of 16 questions that she has no idea what I'm about to ask. Isn't that exciting? It's so exciting. Are you ready to rock and roll? As ready as I'm going to be. Okay. <laughs> My first question for you, Anna, is what's your favorite part about coaching? My favorite part about coaching is getting to see each girl grow through the years. Um, obviously, last year being my first year, I didn't realize it was going to be one of my favorite things. And now seeing the returners come and just see how much they've grown, like even off the field, that's probably one of the best parts about this job. I would agree 100%. Aside from necessities, what is one thing that you could not go a day without? Oh, I definitely could not go a day without coffee. Coffee? Coffee. It's wow. how I deal with everybody. What is your go-to? Black coffee. Straight. Straight black. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. But one day I, you had me get you something from Sheets. It was a oh, ba banana with almond milk. Oh, if you're going. If I'm cheating. Oh, what? yeah. I thought that maybe was just a good day. like a. No, that was like. It's my cheat day. I'm going to add some sugar oh, to this okay. mix. <laughs> okay. Just want to throw that in there. All right. What is one thing that you like to do, but others would consider weird if they knew? I reenact Kardashian scenes. <laughs> By yourself? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Give yeah. us one. Give us um, one. <laughs> my diamond earring fell off in the ocean. And then Courtney goes, Kim, there are people that are dying. <laughs> I have never seen a Kardashian show, but I would say that's probably pretty good. It's, it's actually, I'm going to be on the show. I'll let you guys be the judge <laughs> of that. <laughs> but I guess that is a little weird. Oh, uh, yeah, that's weird. What is the first thing you would do if you won the lottery? And please tell me you're going to keep St. Francis in mind. <laughs> Depending on how much I want it for would also dictate this. But if I want it for, like, a lot of money that I would never, ever have to, like, ask for money ever again, I guess... A brand new scoreboard. Yes. First off. Yes. Second, there would be a bench in the um, bullpen for me to sit on while the pitchers are warming up. And then I would buy a G-Wagon. What's a G-Wagon? <laughs> um, it's like, I don't, it's a car. I don't know how to describe it. It's literally the most beautiful car ever, but it's so out of my price range. I will never get it. Well, I'm glad that the scoreboard <laughs> was first. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What is your silliest fear? My silliest fear. Um, I, mm, that's a good one. Uh, my silliest fear. It can't be nearly as bad as Cheyenne's with the caterpillars, oh, but yeah, that was nice. um, I'm sure you have something. I think my silliest fear would probably, this is, I don't know if this is, this could actually just happen, but like you are traveling somewhere and you just like get lost and you have nothing that helps you to find anything no gps no gps no map no nothing no tom no tom no tom's our bus driver no director uh -oh. of ops, so it's just nothing. you it's just me fending for myself unbelievable make it even worse you're like not in the united states and you can't speak this is getting real crazy that would probably be my <laughs> silliest fear because like that's never gonna yeah. happen hopefully but yeah yeah i, I really never that thought of that happen. before yikes what is one thing people never knew about you just by looking at you? Um, I'm really dorky. I don't think I give off no. that I'm dorky, but I, I really am. Okay. Um, I sometimes, when I laugh really hard and you make me really like, laugh really hard, I snort. <laughs> <laughs> I've only heard that once, so I must not make her laugh yeah, very much. No, I have to fake laugh sometimes. Oh my God! I'm kidding <laughs> but honestly I think I like I like to have fun and not take anything too serious and I think I'm a dork at heart yeah okay good best pizza combination this is a mm. make or break for you best pizza combination currently cauliflower crust listen you can't even tell it's cauliflower crust with butter garlic mozzarella and bacon I can't even keep up with that. It that's way too much. No, you cauliflower to, should not go on pizza. It, it's not on. It's the crust. Okay, for us that are watching our figures. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
What did you always want to try but never found the courage to do? Um, what have I always wanted to try but never found the courage? Uh, honestly, this is probably, I try, I'll try, like, I tried, I didn't surf. I tried to go out into the beach and, like, do it, knowing full well I wasn't going to be good at it. Could you get up? No. Oh, God. Just, just stayed there in the like, dog, in the, in the paddle. Like, paddled to safety. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will try. What I'm trying to say is, like, I don't think there's anything I haven't tried that has been, like, available to me. Mm-hmm. I will try within reason. I, I'm not really scared to try stuff. So I don't, I don't. I don't have an answer for you. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I pictured you as a parachute flying out of a, a plane. Would you do that? I would do that. I've never had the opportunity to do that. Oh, so now it's opportunity. Not, you would do it. Oh, I would do you it. Would have the, wow. In a heartbeat. Wow. I did, like, the zip line at Kennywood. Wow. Um, they, like, take you up, and then they, like, someone has to undo it. And I wasn't. I said I couldn't do that because we would just be sitting up there. But the – my dad's friend, he was an ex-Marine, so I figured he would be the best person to do that. And uh, he yeah. did. And he did it. And all you heard through the entire Kennywood Park was me screaming. <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> That's all that matters. You did it. I did it. What do you like to do when you're not working besides watching Kardashians? <laughs> um, mm, I am a huge Call of Duty fan right now. <laughs> I have a so much about you today. I have a headset and um <laughs> I now I live like an hour away but my friends that live uh, the hour away we can be on at the same time and talk and play Call of Duty and I'm really bad at it God bless them for allowing me to continue to be on their campaign mm-hmm. but I'm trying and it's it's just it gets me you know it relaxes me i guess do you have a name on there (laughs) no but i do have an avatar that looks nothing i'm a male oh and i'm like big and i'm like big and buff have facial hair so it's like my alter ego oh (laughs) does it look like uh your dad (laughs) kind of okay (laughs) there we go all right all right i'm gonna go fast here burger or tacos burger well, I would have never guessed that because anytime we go on the road, we're eating a burger somewhere. <laughs> They're good. I agree. <laughs> All right. Too warm or too cold? Too cold, but I'm going to have blankets, right? Yeah. Then too cold. Yeah. If anyone is more prepared on our bus, it's Anna. She <laughs> literally have a blanket that can cover four rows and a bo- <laughs> probably about three pillows. So if I'm ever cold, I know where to go. <laughs> All right, I know the answer to this, but I want our fans to know. Okay. Pepsi or Coke? Diet Coke. <laughs> Diet Coke. That is her pregame meal, I guess you call it. <laughs> it is what gets me through the days other wow. than coffee. Unbelievable. Okay. Batman or Superman? Mm. Mm. Batman? Are we going by looks or? I couldn't even picture uh someone who played either one to be honest with you i'm not the biggest marvel fan but i am thinking seth rogan we all know is my celebrity crush and in his movie he goes i'm batman so that's why i went with batman <laughs> great impression thank Love you it. thank you <laughs> if you could change one thing about the world what would it be everyone would be it's inclusive no one is filling out like uh, that is what i would change okay so if you were on a, a like a supermodel going for Miss USA, that's how you would answer that question. Yeah, but that would also I, no offense to the supermodels out like there wouldn't be that like you shouldn't have to feel like that's the elite group of a woman like everyone would be a supermodel. Just I love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, name one thing on your bucket list. Um. I want to go to Italy really bad because I have extended family that I've never met. And um, I just think it'd be really cool to see where my grandparents that I, I also never got to meet them, where they came from and wow. just get to learn more about no offense to my mom's side of the family. I'll make it to she's like everything. But my dad, like I want to go there first and just see what what's going on over in Italy. I love it. <laughs> All right, our last question, question number I 16. Made it. I made it. Well, you're not done yet, you have one more. Okay. 
What is your spirit animal? Sloth. Oh, sloth. my gosh. Wait, but you didn't sloth. even hesitate. I no. didn't even finish the question no. and you got that out of okay, your mouth. Why? No, no, no. That's it. Why? Oh, my. I honestly, before sloths got big, my uncle bought me a sloth. Okay. Stuffed animal sloth. Cause oh, stuffed animal. I thought Because there was a commercial real. that was like, I don't know if you've ever watched the Geico commercial. I'm pretty sure it's one. Oh, yeah. And like yeah. This, and the one where he's drawing on the... No, it, it's like touching the computer really oh, slow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was obsessed. And then my uncle was like, it's weird that you're obsessed with that because like, you are sometimes a sloth. <laughs> and I'm like, that's rude. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to embrace it. So I became obsessed with sloths for my 22nd, 23rd birthday. Oh, my gosh. I'm so old. How my old birthday, are you? I'm 23 right okay, now. Okay, now we know. For my 22nd birthday, my dad took me to the aviary in Pittsburgh, and I got to spend a day with a sloth. Wow. Yeah, there's two. I'm not sure if you, you know guys that just or not. hung out? We hung out. I fed the sloth, learned all about. They have really sharp teeth. Really? And there's three-toed and two-toed sloths. Fascinating. I feel like I'd be a three-toed sloth. Did you learn? What else did you learn about sloths? Um, they move so slow, and they're in trees that sometimes moss actually grows on them. Wow. I know. And These are amazing swimmers. They can swim, which I can swim yeah i can't really climb things but i'm willing to try that is your spirit it, it's truly my we have honestly uh coach katie here for the field hockey team is my roommate we have a sloth hanging up in between our two rooms we're roommates we have a lot of sloth sloth mugs sloth stuffed animals it is in our hearts. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Anna, thank you so much for joining me today in the press uh, box. 16 days away, ladies and gentlemen. Join us. Watch online. Come visit us. USD Upstate. 16 days. You got anything to leave us with? I'm so, just so ready. So ready. We're <laughs> so pumped. Get us on that bus right now. We'll see you there. Go Red Flash.